We climb higher to Mount Hotham, the popular Victorian ski resort. We've come to visit an unwitting victim of shrinking habitat. The mountain pygmy possum has teetered on the endangered species list for almost 20 years. How long does it take to get your rock legs, Dean? Oh, at least three days, John. Thank you. <laughs> Climate change and development have reduced its habitat to a few square kilometres. Dean Hines has been keeping a close eye on the last survivors. And bingo. One Barham's parvus or mountain pygmy possum. Oh, he's tiny. We well, he he is yeah. small as a mouse. In yeah. fact, you sure it's not a mouse, Dave? It's far more attractive. Now, will they give you a nip? Will they give you a nip? Will they? Oh, if they're in the right mood, they will. Yeah. There you go. Okay, beautiful. Oh, that's magnificent, isn't it? Look at that little face, isn't it? She likes your smell, Tim, I think. See, yes, mate, she can know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, when I look at that animal, I just see this, uh, like, a face from the past. It's incredible, you know. Or a living fossil. It's a great survivor, John. This kind of animal goes back 25 million years or so in Australia, and there's fossils being found all around the, the country. What we're left with now is just these isolated populations on mountaintops, maybe 2,000 or less. And certainly in recent years, some of the populations have, have shrunk. I'm, I'm opening her pouch at the moment. The white that you're seeing are her mammary glands, and so this means that she's lactating and that she's got some young in her nest. Ah, you waiting see. for her to get home. That's right. Mm, so yeah. we'll, we'll let her go so she can get back to her kids. Mm. <laughs> and off she goes. She's like flattened her body, so they move down in amongst the rocks and into the cover, uh, away from predators. Yes. And also, this is where their, their main food often lives, the okay. bone on moths. Mm. The possum habitat was cut in half by a road, causing havoc as the amorous possums cross back and forth. Very good. In the 80s, a tunnel of love was built. Males will come up, go under the tunnel, get up to most of the females, mm. and then when they're forced out by the females, they'll come back down and under the road. So they would they benefit from another couple of tunnels? There's a big area, reasonably big area here. Yeah, look, absolutely. I mean, this is just one point. Uh, we could do with a series of tunnels here. Mm. But so why are they being built? Well, I guess it just comes down to money and where the priorities are for conservation. Makes you proud of your country, doesn't it, mate? <laughs> but if there was a small levy put on skiers, Tim, yeah? Every, every time you use a ski lift, an extra $2. Yes. For the possum. $2 for the tunnel of love. Yes. Yes. Oh, I think that people would yeah. buy that. I think they'd buy that. I think yeah. they'd love to do that. Yeah. Yeah, well, we might recommend that. Yes? <laughs> that sounds very good. Mm. <laughs> okay, all right. Good. Solved. <laughs> <laughs>